The process of plate tectonics creates and destroys lithosphere. The process circulates material between the asthenosphere and the lithosphere. Some asthenosphere becomes lithosphere at mid-ocean spreading centers and then takes a very slow trip across the sea floor before going back down into the asthenosphere at subduction zones. This process is also a major way that Earth transports heat to the surface. We know that seafloor spreading is the mechanism that facilitates the process of plate tectonics. But why does the seafloor spread in the first place? There are three ideas on the cause of seafloor spreading. First is the conveyor belt idea or mantle convection, where plates are passively riding along a convecting mantle. The idea is that we have plates which are made up of the crust and the uppermost part of the mantle called the lithosphere, and they are rigid but the layer just below the lithosphere, called the asthenosphere, is plastic and mobile, which means that it has the ability to flow, and flow like a very slow-moving fluid. Think silly putty, right? If you take a ball of silly putty and hit it with a hammer, it will probably crack, but if you roll it into a ball, let it sit on the table overnight, in the morning you'll find that silly putty spread out on the table. You can think of the asthenosphere this way. If you were to bring material from the asthenosphere to the Earth's surface and hit it with a hammer, it would crack and break. It would deform brittily, but under such intense heat and pressure like that found at the depths of the asthenosphere, you will end up with material that is much more mobile and flows like a fluid. And so, what happens when you heat a fluid from below? You get convection currents. This is what is happening at the base of the lithosphere. This heating leads to the formation of convection cells, where you get rising asthenosphere from below, it comes up to the base of the lithosphere, and then spreads out. It then dives back in at subduction zones to make these large circulating convection currents. When the rising asthenosphere gets to the lithosphere and spreads out, it can carry the lithosphere with it like a conveyor belt. When the asthenosphere spreads apart, it provides an opening for magma to rise and to fill in the void that would otherwise form. This is where you get basaltic eruptions and these are your spreading ridges or mid-ocean ridges. The second idea is ridge push or gravity sliding. The mid-ocean ridge is naturally higher than the ocean floor away from the ridge, and that's because the lithosphere near the ridge is thinner and hotter, and not just that, the asthenosphere is actually bulging at that point. So the idea with ridge push is that gravity pushes downward at these ridges, which will exert a force that causes the plate to slide away from the topographically high ridge and push the plate outward. So that is one way to get spreading centers moving. The third idea is slab pull or trench suction. At subduction zones, you have two plates that are coming towards each other, and one plate will lose, one will get overpowered and subduct beneath the other. If you imagine my hands here as the subducting plate, right, this one here, as my fingertips dive deeper and deeper into the earth, they are experiencing higher and higher temperature and pressure. At a certain point, some of the minerals will alter their crystal forms and become denser mineral versions. Eclogite, for example, forms when you get basaltic material deep enough and it's a dense mineral. It's like heavy weights forming at my fingertips. And so that subducting plate becomes denser and heavier and gravity pulls that plate downward pulls it into the asthenosphere where that lithosphere will eventually melt. 
slab pull is a significant force and subducting plates actually tend to move faster than plates at other boundaries. There is some debate among geologists as to which of these forces is most important, which is the controlling driving force. Although slab pull does seem to have a very strong influence, I think all are in play. They all seem to contribute to the system.